Hi, this is Walt from Lone Wolf Rolls Royce Bentley Service out here in Chino, California. We're going to do a hydraulic pressure test on a 79 Corniche convertible. And the reason we do this is to check the integrity of the hydraulic system. There's actually two separate systems and this uh, test is going to be on system number one. So I'm going to show you the gauge that we use and as you can see it reads from zero to three thousand pounds and I'm now going to start the car I'll put the gauge down for a second Okay, you can see where the gauge just flicked up immediately to 1,200 pounds, and that's a good thing. That means that's the nitrogen pressure that we do need, and that means that it is fresh and maximum nitrogen pressure. You don't want it any higher than 1,200 pounds. Okay, now it's going to slowly start building up. I'm going to give it a, just a little bit of gas just to move it up a little bit quicker. And so far so good. We're building up to 21, 22, 23, 24, and it signs off at about uh, 2,475 pounds. I'm going to let it relax a little bit. And she's going to hold right around 2,300 pounds. That's good so far. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start stepping on the brake pedal uh, so that we can get it into recovery mode. So I'm going to push it once. You can see it. Twice. Three times. Four times. And you saw right at 2,000 pounds it started building up pressure again. That's actually very good recovery pressure and now it's coming up the maximum and it's going to sign off so that is actually about as perfect a pressure as you can ask on a car that has this type of system um, we will check the number two system but we will put that on a separate uh, film as we can't do it on both so we're signing off for now, and this number one system on this 1979 Corniche convertible is in very good standing as far as the pressures go. Signing off.